Hello everyone, peace of Christ to all. Uh, in this video we will talk about this woman supposedly she was killed in California because of a hate crime. Uh, now you know for sure we are against any kind of hate and any kind of crimes anyway. Killing uh, people is a crime, it doesn't matter who they are. Uh, but you know like what is stopping me in this uh, story uh, first all what those people they have somebody or the one who the, is the killer supposedly he left a letter saying go back home where you came from and that is really uh, like uh, making me asking more questions so now if I go and kill an American and I say to him uh, Allahu Akbar Al-Qaeda killed you uh, but I'm a Christian does that mean really Al-Qaeda killed him? so you know what, what I'm trying to say it might be the husband it might be the boyfriend it might be even a neighbor it might be somebody from her family it might be an honor killing go and see how many Muslim women they killed by honor killing for she is having a boyfriend or etc so maybe the killer is being smart. He wrote a letter saying, you know what, go back home to make it like as a hate crime, something about hating the Muslims, and that will get the attention away. Like, do you have any proof really that this is a hate crime? Because if this is a hate crime, as they say, and I assume it's not, the killer, he will not stop with one woman. The killer will be killing anyone simply as a Muslim. This is number one. Uh, number two, uh, if we go and check the whole area, uh, not actually not the whole area, the, the, all, the, all of USA, USA uh, we have only one case, and that does not make sense because you know hate crimes they come as a wave, like uh, something happened, make people angry, and uh, they go against a group of people. Uh, so you know I think I, I suspect that the whole thing is really a hate crime. However, anyone is a criminal. He have to be. He have to pay for the for the crime he did. So, the person who did this, this regardless who is he, he is a criminal. He's a filthy man, or even filthy woman. We do not know. Uh, whoever did this is a filthy person. Uh, but I would not be surprised if later we found out that the one who killed her is even a Muslim. Now. Uh, I heard that uh, in California people they will go and strike in the street against hate crime uh, and uh, they wanna uh, protest against two things like the, the killing of 17 years old boy is an, uh, an, an, an African American and this woman <coughs> now you know it's very stupid really what to see happening in California because the one who killed the black boy is not white person either so what what hate the crime you are talking about? Like is he blonde? Is he uh, blue eyes? Is he green eyes? He is you know he is not a he's not a white person. So it's really silly. This is what this had to do with this. They are mixing two things together with no with no uh, relationship. It's it's very clear that you know somebody is is uh, trying to keep himself busy. And they could not find anything to keep themselves busy with. And I think I think that behind this is Obama too because Obama and the liberals they would like to take your attention away from the problems we have you know there's a crim crimes happening every day how come when the crime it is against somebody some, from certain color people go crazy simply they are trying to use the race card so they can play their agenda uh, there is white people get killed every day there is blonde, there is white, there is Asian, there is Middle Eastern, you know. So the race card is a very ugly thing. And, uh, you know, like if, if the police is a, is a people of who run by, uh, for sure there is, there is racism, you know, that, that always will exist. It doesn't matter what you try. Uh, but there is policemen, they are black, and there is police, they are white. Now, if you can prove somebody is racist, we have a perfect justice to punish the one who is racist. So we can't complain, by the way, because racism is rejected in this country. And you can't speak even about racism when the president is a black. Because if the president is a black, 
This is mean the majority of the country, they vote for a black person, and the majority they are white, in case you don't remember, which means the majority of this country, uh, they vote for a black person regardless of his color, they choose him. So I, I believe America is a very healthy country when it's come to racism. Now, at the same time, I want to ask those who they are called liberals, how come we don't see you striking in the street for the burning of 4,000 Christians alive? in the Ivory Coast by the Muslims. How come we don't see you striking in the street for killing 28 people just last month for burning the Quran? Just for burning the Quran. How come we don't see the Muslims <coughs> doing the same? I'm sorry, I'm losing my voice. I have allergy. So, the Muslims don't do the same. For killing one Muslim in America, one Muslim, people of California, they will go on strike. That's very nice, actually. But how come we don't see the Muslims doing the same? Do you know how many Christians killed last month just in Syria alone by the Mujahideen? Hundreds. Do you know how many Christians is kidnapped right now by the, what they call them, revolutionary Syrian, which Obama, he support, and Hillary Clinton support? Thousands. Do you know how many Christians, they flee their houses in Syria? Tons of thousands. But nobody talk about them. Actually, actually not only that, actually, if you open CNN, they support them. If you open Fox News, they support them. They support the Muslim terrorist. Everything in this country became upside down when it's come to the truth. One person, we feel sorry for, for her death, but we ask the same question, how come Muslims don't fight with us against crimes and hate crimes? But how they can fight hate crimes? Is if Islam is a religion of hate. Isn't it the God of Islam is the one who said, I will spread hate and enmity between you to each other? It's in the Quran. I'm not making things up. As you see with me, this is the Quran. You know, chapter 5, verse 14. A chapter 5, verse 64. A chapter 60, verse number 4. What Allah want to spread? What Allah want to do? As long you American, you liberals, uh, you are against hate crimes. When we are going to go and see you striking against hate crimes, which is in the Quran. Read with me. I'm not making my own words. This is the Quran in front of you. And the words, I think it's very clear. It says, from those two who call themselves Christians, we did take confidence, but they forgot a good part of the message that we send them. So we string them with enmity and hate between one to each other. So are you against hate crimes? You want to see where hate crimes start? Do you, do you want to see the root of hate? Ban the Quran. Ban the Quran if you are honest. If you want to strike against hate crime, go and ban the source of hate, which is the Quran. A book saying clearly, I want to spread hate. Don't tell me now this is a metaphorical. I want to sp spread hate, hate and enmity between you and to each other. Don't tell me this is a metaphorical and he is targeting the Christians specifically. Or maybe because you liberals don't care because you are atheists maybe. So you hate the crimes only if they are crimes against non-Christians. But if they are against Christians, it's okay. Mm. I think this is the case. So, if you are honest... For a second, ban the book of hate. What about uh, different verses? Chapter 3, verse 28. The Quran encouraged Muslims, actually forbid them from taking people who they are not Muslims as friends. Always they have to be an enemy. It's a hate crime again. Just because you are not a Muslim, Muslims are not allowed to be friendly to you. Take not. The only way, by the way, if a Muslim, he says to you, he is a friend, and we explained that many times, they practice this chapter, which is called taqiyya, protection. 
They can say to you, we are your friends, and even they can act nice with you, as long they are under not Islamic country, which means they fear for their life, they fear for future, they fear, they, you know, you have a power, you can do, uh, return their favor to you, to, 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 to them, which means if he harm you, he knew that you can harm him back. But in Islamic country where you cannot, he will harm you with no, uh, 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 you know, regret. And this is the interpretation for the verse, so nobody can say, I'm making things up. You will see in here that Muslims are allowed to be friendly only with you, if just to fool you and lie to you. Speaking to you friendly while your heart dislikes this. So, he can speak friendly to you, he can even be friendly with you. But, but this is all for the sake of protection, to protect himself, like he is in a situation he lives in America and they are not the majority. So what a Muslim can do? He speaks to you friendly while his heart is dislike this. So he hates you in his heart. Isn't it this is a hate a crime? Have you ever heard a Christians in their churches saying, let us go and kill the infidels? All the Christians, the first they start their prayer, they pray for peace of the world. A Christian, he pray for the death of others, is no Christian. A Christian who say, I cannot take you as a friend, is no Christian. Just because you aren't a Christian, no, this is not, this is not accepted. A Muslim, he is not allowed to take us as a friend. What does that mean? It means we are always his enemy. And look, Islam threatened even a Muslim. Let us say there's a Muslim, he's a, he's, there's a good Abdul. He decided not to follow Islam. He decided to take you as a friend. Look what the Quran says about this. The one who do such a thing, who take the Christians and the Jews as a friend, he became my, uh, mighty and honorable in preference and be to believers. So, uh, who, who, who are sincere. Those who they are sincere, who, who, they will not do that. They will not take the Christians and the Jews as a friend. But those who they uh, uh, take the Christians and the Jews as a friend, or non-believers, they have... No connection with Allah. That's it. The second you take a Christian or a Jew, and you mean it, if you are a Muslim, as a friend, you are not a Muslim. You have con no connection with Allah. You are a kafir. And what does that mean? Look, he has no honor, which means Muslims can rape your wife. They can kill you. No mercy. Or protection from Allah. That's it. You lost the protection of Islam. Isn't this is the hate itself? Isn't it this is the fascism? Isn't it this is the filth itself? When the world is going to wake up? In this hadith in here, they came to Muhammad. Uh, Muhammad, he ordered them to kill all the black dogs. All the black dogs. And, uh, you know, for sure, Muhammad, he have a lot of uh, uh, fairy tale stories about uh, magic, etc. You know, and those Muslims, they believe in it blindly. But in here, you will see that the Muslims, they ask Muhammad, about what is different, why only the black dog? Like, what, what is the difference between a yellow dog, a red dog, as we see in here? Like, what is the distinguish between a black dog and a red dog and yellow dog? What the answer of Muhammad? The black dog is the devil. Do you see it? Isn't it this is a hate crime? Isn't it this is a hate crime? Based on color? and specifically the black color and the and the funny those african who convert to islam uh, muslim muslims they say to them the white muslims they say to them islam brother islam brother is is for everybody islam love the black people where islam hate the black people actually muhammad he said the, the satan himself is a black person as we see in this hadith or many many other books where he says that he is looking at the satan and he see him as a black person with thin legs blocking the stones of the kaaba so even the one who would destroy the Kaaba, the Satan, is a black person for Muhammad. Why not a white person? Why not an Asian? Why only the black one he hate? And you are telling me Islam is not against hate. Let us ban the hate together. Ban Islam. Christ is Lord. See you soon with more videos.